is going on Diablo 2 fans? Lord Zangfei bringing you another Uber Set Challenge, episode 24, Tancred's Battle Gear. This set has no Diablo lore, but I did find the history of the name Tancred pretty interesting. The set either derives from a 1995 PC video game, Star Crusader, which featured an alien race named the Tancreds, or what I think is more than likely is the set was named after Tancred, the Prince of Galilee. Given the name of the items, the spine, the skull, they are probably referencing someone who has since been deceased, and the weapon, the crow bill, is actually a medieval weapon similar to a modern day pick. All of this kind of leans to this theory more. Uh, and Tancred was an Italo Norman leader during the First Crusade, who later became Prince of Galilee. And the region of the Principality of Antioch, which is one of the Crusader states during the First Crusade at the start of the 11th century. The Principality of Antioch is located in modern day Turkey and Syria. Tancred lived to be 37 years old and died of an infectious disease in the year 1112. But enough of that. Let's check this set out. All right, the first item, Tankard Skull, does do 10 resistance, I guess. That's something. The set is found in normal, so don't expect too much out of it. Then we have Tankard Spine, 40 to life, 15 strength, a little bit of extra defense. Not that great. We have Tankard's Hobnails. The 30 faster run walk is pretty cool. 10 to dex, 10 to strength. That's actually not too bad. If you don't need resistance, not bad. And then the uh, Tankard's Crow Bill. This is a horrible item. 12 to 19 damage. It does give a little bit of increased attack speed with three items. And then we have the Tankard's Weird. It is weird because there's a whole lot of MF on this. That's actually really high MF, so if you were to find this a normal it would be a significant bonus to your magic find. Go ahead and open this portal up. I felt that uh, given Tancred being a crusader for the Christian army, it only made sense to play as a paladin. It just goes hand in hand. Let's go ahead and get faded real quick. Of course, we are going to be playing this as a smiter. Unfortunately, with that low weapon damage, there was no other way to really play this. And while the items are bad, what's even worse about it is the item slots they take up. Weapon, amulet, armor, helm, boots. It does not leave much for us to work with here. So we do only have 20% crushing blow. That is not a lot. But Smite is OP and we'll get it done. Go ahead and pull Mephisto over here. Hit him with that life tap. And my Merc dies instantly. Gonna chunk him down. Our attack speed is really bad. We do have 23% damage reduced. Like I said, 20% crushing blow. And of course, our Drax do give us 25% open wounds. And we also hit the 48 faster hit recovery breakpoint at 5 frames per animation. With a couple faster hit recovery paladin combat grand charms. Go ahead and take down Mephisto. Now we did have to do that fight without fanaticism, so our attack speed was in the dumps at 3.12 attacks per second. Go and pull Bale over here. This set is probably one of the better sets to find in normal, I will say. There are far worse. Go ahead and chunk him down. Of course, for the smite skills, we maxed out smite, holy shield, fanaticism, conviction, and put 10 points into resist lightning to go ahead and get our lightning resist really high. We are doing 
2,038 through 2,337 damage with our smite. It's really not too bad, and when we do have that fanaticism aura active, it is 4.16 attack per second, so that is definitely better. You can pretty much put exile on any character or any smiter and get it done. This is point proven here. Go ahead and take down Diablo for our stat points. We do have 224 strength, 364 vitality, and 143 dexterity to hit that max block. And we have 2,500 hit points after battle orders. Still enough to easily pull it off. Our weapon breaks really fast. There is the gear. Smite is the best. And uh, let's go ahead and check out this torch. I want to thank you guys for checking the video out. I'm going to be getting back to my set challenges here. I got set back a little bit, pulling that pacifist uber trist run. That took a couple weeks, so I took a couple weeks off from doing this. But we're going to finish this up in the next couple weeks and uh, get it done. Of course, our merc is using the steel shade phoenix combo. All right, well, you guys have a good one. And I will catch you on the next video.